Hi guys, and welcome to SBTV, where we're backstage at the Mercury Music Award nominations, catching who's up for one of the most coveted prizes in music as it happens. Past winners have included the likes of Dizzy Rascal, Miss Dynamite, The XX. So who's going to be up for it in 2012? Like when we were behind the scenes for El Manor's video, did you think that you'd be here, Mercury nominated? No, I'm surprised, you know. I'm surprised because obviously it's my first studio album. It's the first time I've been um, nominated by Mercury. Mm -hmm. But it's great just to be like on that list, you know. It um, brings more promotion to the album, which essentially kind of brings more promotion to the, to the movie. And I think the message that's being portrayed in the movie is something that I want the whole of this country to see. So mm. I, I feel that... Uh, the only way we can kind of change the things that the, the film's about is if more people are aware of them, you know? Mm. And why do you think you have done so well? Because I feel you're kind of the voice of the youth at the moment. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 probably because I'm the only person like, speaking for them and, and, and talking about it, but I felt that I'd done that from my first record, you know? And obviously with, uh, with the Strickland Banks album, you know, it was me kind of taking a break vacation away from hip-hop music because I felt that my hip-hop music didn't belong on a major label you know so instead I created a new place for it to live which was the movie um, and I was I was ready for failure you know I was ready to accept commercial failure because I knew that the film and this album the integrity of it would always be kept intact but maybe that it wouldn't work so well you know on radio and stuff and I've been pleasantly surprised by how well the album done in first week sells and, and it's continuing to do so and being being a part of this list just helps it even further. Must be over the moon. So happy. Yeah. It's so exciting. Would you say it's one of your wildest moments? I'd say it's up there. Okay, sorry, sorry, I had to, I had to. Um, so for me, I feel like it's a bit of a coup, coming from quite a club background and just catapulting yourself into the mainstream. It's awesome, was that always your plan? I definitely, I love that I came from the underground and I collaborated with such amazing um, dance producers, but I think I, I gotta be true to myself and I, I love pop music and I love, you know, big ballads and I, I, I just did what I wanted to do and, and thankfully people have been really supportive for that. Because mm. I feel like we're, we're as likely to hear you in the club as we are in like a comfortable lounge yes, situation. That's what I want, that's what yeah. I want. I want nice. to hear the remixes in the club yeah. or maybe, you know, no, it's really, you know, it's good. Would you rather have a night out or a night in then? At the moment a night in. Are you? Top chilling. Really chilling but... I need to have a night out, maybe yeah. soon. But this is this is a bit of a night out yeah, for this me. Is all, this is all happening. Um, now you're no stranger to SBTV, and you're really big on helping out other artists. We saw you jump on a track with Ed Sheeran and Angel. Oh yeah. What do you think about the other people nominated? Do you think you've got a good chance? Uh, I mean, I'm happy to be nominated. I think I think we all have a good chance. You know, um, I'm happy to be involved, be a part of something with people like artists like Alt J to like Plan B and and those artists because. They're uh, interesting, you know, Bambi does his thing really well, he's a very interesting artist, like, um, and so wide in terms of like being a rapper, a singer and a filmmaker. So being a part of the stuff that's, that's current and like creative and forward thinking is really great, and to be a part of that is just any musician's dream, you know. So are you fans of those guys then? Yeah, you know, yeah. and I think it's, like, music's uh, in a good place, so I think we, it's good to, what's good about this award is that everyone seems to be in it together to encourage them to keep trying to make good music. Mm -hmm. and so I'm totally a fan of everyone's album. I haven't heard everyone's album, but most of them I've heard. Yeah. Um, now, I hear you picked your name out of the Bible. Do you think it's God's work that's brought you here? Absolutely not. I doubt no. it. No, I don't no. think so. Not at all? I don't, I don't know, actually. That's really negative. You know, it might have been. It might be. No, I don't it know. Was it? I don't think, it was no. our work that got us okay, here. Yeah, we did this ourselves. Yeah, yeah. we did yeah. this ourselves. As Keanu Reeves said out of a Matrix, <laughs> doesn't believe in fate because 
Um, he he wants, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a Neo because he wants to be in charge of his own destiny. Fair play. Well, I mean, you could say luck is opportunity and hard work meeting, isn't it? So, congratulations on that, fellas. Thank you. And how about how are you going to celebrate if you win? Um, who knows? You know, try not to second guess what happens and uh, comes back to fate. You know. So <laughs> Oh, we're getting very like, philosophical. Like, like Keanu Reeves once said. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs>